Hey everyone, welcome back to day six of 30 of using AI every day to trade stocks to see if I can make some money. So let's just jump right into it. So today I did use ChatGPT one final time to kind of round it up because the market was doing kind of well. So I kind of asked it what I want, what I should do in this case. And here's what we did today. So as of recording this at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I am up about $9.36 or about 4.82%. Overall, I did take some wins today. BitFarms was one of those. I'm still hanging on to MU and we'll get that into that in a second. So I did ask ChatGPT with BitFarms. It's gone up about 11% today. Uh, what should I do? And it told me to just take the wind and roll the rest. There was really, even if I only sold like a few shares and then kept the other shares to keep going for profit, it wasn't much profit I could make. So I just sold everything for about a dollar something in profit. So I went with that. I then asked it what I should do with my one share of Micron Technologies, even though I am down about $2.16, and it basically just told me to hang on to it. Now, if you look here at this sentence right here, I'd hold MU through tonight's earnings, meaning that it thinks that MU has earnings calls tonight, but the only problem is it doesn't. Uh, MU's earnings calls were September 23rd, 2025, after hours. There's no earnings call tonight. And here we have some problems with why using AI to invest can get a little hairy. Uh, these hallucinations, as ChatGPT has, uh, can get very bad. Like I've had to clear, make it clarify a lot of things. I had to like push it to dig deeper and do a whole bunch of stuff. And if it gives you any investing advice and it has hallucination thinking it's doing right, and if you don't verify it or check it out, check out its information then you could be following some very bad advice and you could lose a lot of money. I mean, right now it's just $200 on the line, so if I lose it, it will stink, but it is what it is. But other people, this could be a lot and this could give some really bad information. So I would honestly say one of the drawbacks so far that I've encountered using these AI platforms, really glorified chatbots in my opinion, to trade is that it can give you some false information like that. So even with those hallucinations though, so far, luckily, I guess, uh, we are up about $5.74 or about 9.3%. So, so far, it's not off to a bad start. Yes, it has hallucinations and yes, I do have to double check it and use my own investment knowledge and my own gut feelings to kind of guide it along. But I mean, so far it's been doing okay. Now, I wonder if I had no input at all, if it would still be doing this good. Uh, as of right now, because it did tell me to hang on to MU and it's my biggest portion, and it's right now only a $2 loss, I'll hang on to it till tomorrow, see what happens, and then I'll probably, if it's doing really good in the morning, sell it first thing in the morning, and then use Gemini to basically see how 